Welcome back to another one of my Art of Book Reviews. This one is Art of Over the Garden Wall. Um, and it, it came in the mail a couple weeks ago and I haven't had a chance to look at it. So I figured that I would, um, I would peel the plastic off and look at it right here with you guys. So what you might get if you order this really fun book. I, I loved Over the Garden Wall. I was pleasantly surprised. I had heard about it. Ooh, shiny. I had heard about it, um several years before I had actually seen anything about it. And then I was at the library trying to figure out what to check out and they had Over the Garden Wall in the children's DVD section. I was like, yeah, I'll give that a try. And boy, <laughs> I was super hooked. And then the library disc was scratched and I couldn't see the second to last episode, which ironically, I hope it's not a spoiler for you, is, is probably the most important episode in the entire series uh, to understand what's going on, and then I was lucky enough to find out that it's on Hulu, and it is still on Hulu right now. Oh, it's got a dent. I mean, not that that bothers me terribly. My books all have terrible damage because I'm a collector and an avid reader of them. So, it's beautiful so far. It's very shiny. Love the color cover choice. Gold on the lettering. The, uh, the binding looks like it's indifferent, but it's just printed that way. It's actually the same binding all the way around. It's got an ISBN because it came from Amazon. Hardcover. It is an odd size. I won't lie about that. Why would I lie? Ten and a quarter by eleven and a quarter. So it's almost square. And a large square at that. Oh, end pages are printed. Boring printing, but printed all the same. And then the... Yes, thank you. Art of the Odor. There's Beatrice there in a cute little painting. The whole thing's going to be shiny, I can tell already. So far I'm appreciating the, the juxtaposition of drawings next to... I mean, if you got to have a, a publication information page, the, the publication info. That's a nice way to do it with all of the... Introduction. I don't understand this. The executive vice president of Cartoon Network told Patrick McHale, glancing over the project storyboards. No, it's it's a bit out there, but I, I mean, I just watched it again last night randomly, and it is an excellent story. It really, really is. And the voice actors they got to be involved are, are very impressive. It's got the pitch there. That's fun. I guess if you're looking to get into pitches for Cartoon Networks, they're revealing some of their they're revealing some of their process here. That would be nice to know if you were gonna pitch ideas to Cartoon Network. Sorry about Butthead in the background. He's doing his alphabet for whatever reason. Tome of the Unknown. The players. Wirt. Greg. Our bliss. Is Gregory's pet bullfrog. Uh, he calls the bullfrog a different name every time he calls him, which I think is hilarious. Beatrice. I like the post-its. These are not just, like, redone drawings for this book. This is actually the things that they were on. Yes, thank you. Apparently something is green, 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 green. Post-it note. The book feels a lot like the series so far. I mean, of course it would. It's the art of the series. But they're doing a really good job of keeping the, the backgrounds in the good tones, the same dark storyboard tones. Hey, hey, you. Go crouch in the other room, So bad for him. <laughs> She's pretty. How could a vegetable be pretty? That's pretty. I mean, you think of Over the Garden Wall as being very goofy with their little uh, circular figures. 
But then you look at the backgrounds that were involved, even there, I mean, that background. Is that the same one? Yeah, it is. Oh, no, it's not. It's just very similar. Then you know you're in the same world. I do like this one, though. And, of course, these elaborate pencil sketches. Storyboarding, maybe? Constructing the unknown. So it's not just an art book. It's also the process of book, which is kind of fun. I mean, if you're really aspiring to work at Cartoon Network, this is, this is a good resource right here. This is all the kinds of things that can be expected from a, from a, a full production. That's fun. Beak is too hooked in parrot like we should see other side of beak. That yeah, these are good. This is this is, a very good reference for, aspiring Cartoon Network and probably other. Cartoon esque. Places. <laughs> the whole series has a, a little bit of a creepy undertone to it. Again, the backgrounds flip out beautiful. And the pages are all shiny, as you can tell. Um, even though the story is a little dark, it does have a nice happy ending overtone to it. Spoiler, I guess. It's not a feel-good ending, but it's definitely a well-resolved ending. That's pretty. Um, this might be the most involved process book I've come across so far. I think the frogs on the steamboat is my favorite episode. Turtles. I feel so bad for the turtles. Hmm. This episode was fun in itself, but I didn't necessarily understand the, the need for it. The unknown. So it's doing episode by episode, which is a lot of fun. There were only, I think, ten. I think this is the last episode. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was a graphic novel first, or maybe it was a graphic novel. That would be fun. A lot of work. And these are objects in the world that were inspire, inspired by real life objects. Reference, research, dramaturgy. I like this picture. Post it board. PM, sometimes you do a really bad drawing and it's so bad that it somehow makes you feel like kind of good. We had an empty bulletin board in our office area and I think that at some point it started posting some of my worst sketches or someone else posted my bad sketches I'm not sure but anyway pretty soon the whole crew was posting terrible drawings it grew and grew until we had a big beautiful collection of bad post-it drawings and it seemed like a nice contrast to the highfalutin miniseries we were trying to make highfalutin miniseries a very personal yeah no that's a I'm pleased it's shiny, but I'm pleased. Um, if you're looking for a book that's got a good process or a good look at the process of what it might be like to work at Cartoon Network or other cartoon um, studios, I think this is probably a good a good pick for you. So highly recommend.